Hey there. So, <laughs> this might seem a little squirrely. No, I haven't gone nuts. But uh, this is my idea today. Uh, yesterday I went out to a farm in uh, a local farm here near Brenham. Bought some cucumbers and some pickles and some kale and some pecans. And the lady gave me, I don't know, 20, 30 pounds, a lot of, a big old bag of pecans from last year they thought weren't very good. By the way, I have cracked about six of those and every one of them was good. I mean, they weren't big. The meat, I guess it's called in a pecan, wasn't robust, but it's almost kind of look a little bit shriveled up, not a lot. But it tastes great. So not only if I like them, I'm sure the squirrels are going to like them. I mentioned to the lady that I would give them to the squirrels, and I will. But uh, I, I told her, and I mentioned about we have a camera where we feed the squirrels. What is that squirrel doing? Look, see how he flashes his tail and stomps his foot. Uh, we looked that up. That means that there's something approaching them that they don't like. I'm going to go back and replay that. Watch this. Watch him again there. Um, anyway, so this is Squirrel Table. Um, it, it's been relocated to here recently where you're seeing it now. And this is actually in a dog run. And this dog run is being used not to keep dogs in, but to keep dogs out. Because we thought the dogs didn't care about squirrels. We had looked out the window before and seen squirrels coming down out of the tree and going to eat pecans and black old sunflower seeds seems to be one of their favorite things. That's what we feed them. And uh, the dogs would just be laying out there in the yard and not pay any attention. So we weren't worried about it. Well, recently, Indy, one of the dogs, killed a baby squirrel. So squirrels were... They, they had babies, and instead of in a nest up in a tree, and I didn't know this was what something squirrels do, they, they had babies underneath my storage building. And we noticed Indy was just patrolling, just around that storage building constantly, trying to get under there, digging and digging and digging. And then and one day, found she had killed a baby squirrel. So anyway... Got, I got a bunch of big rocks around the storage building where she can't get under there. And uh, got to thinking, man, we're like, we put all this food out for squirrels and to get from the tree to the table where the food is, they have to go through hell <laughs> where these two big old dogs are that are prone to, or at least one of them is willing and able and happy to kill a squirrel. So I relocated the table, and the squirrels are safe now. Dogs can't get to them. The canister there, you see there, has food in it. And that uh, cake pan, I guess it is, has water in it. And in this shot, the little white bowl, they knock it off the table almost every day. Uh, it's where I put pecans like uh, already cracked and shelled pecans. I get them the con pieces at H-E-B. They're not that expensive. Look at all those black old sunflower seed holes. <laughs> so we refresh the squirrel table every day. And I don't... Some people might think I'm crazy. I enjoy watching them. I can pull up. This is a blink, you know, security camera I've got mounted out there. And I can walk, pull up and look at the squirrels every now and then. So the, most of the clips are 15 seconds long. I just put a bunch, some of them together. And the, the reason I'm showing <laughs> squirrels tonight, something I mentioned yesterday is uh, I tried, I'm trying to make a video about the most interesting thing I do each day. And I made an attempt today. We have a uh, classic car um, dealership a place that, that all they have is classic cars like 57 Chevy or 72 Corvette Stingray and things like that. And I had talked to them. They're one of the, one of the people that works there. 
Her name is Karina. She has a Facebook page called The Karina Show, and she highlights local businesses and things. Great young lady. And uh, she said they'd be glad to let me do a video about, you know, their classic car dealership. And I, that's what I wanted um, intended to do today, or I was hoping to do. And I went down there, and uh, the owner was not there today. And actually, Karina wasn't there. I talked to Carlos, who works there. Great, great fellow. Really nice man. And uh, so I got my B-roll. And B-roll is like the background, the, the framing of a story, right? I'm learning this stuff. And the A-roll is like what you're featuring. And to me, even though they got really cool cars that I filmed today, or recorded, videoed today, um, all the cars and what they are and everything, that's the B-roll. The story to me, or the intention of my video, is about the people, the inspiration for, you know, I love cars, been a, what they call a gearhead since I was young, still am, and you don't have a classic car dealership without being a gearhead. <laughs> so I want to, and uh, from what I understand, I haven't met him yet. The owner's name is Tony, and uh, Karina assured me that Tony, who I believe is her dad, will be more than happy to talk, he'd like to talk about cars. So it didn't work out today, so I didn't have anything. And I decided I'd do this. Look, <laughs> if you ever try to keep a squirrel out of a bird, uh, bird feeder, you're uh, fighting a losing battle. And Mark Rober, the engineer, designed the obstacle courses for squirrels. They beat everything he put up there. But uh, anyway, that's it. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the squirrels. And uh, may your troubles be few and your blessings be many. And I guess I'll sign off and we'll let the squirrels finish this off. I, I think they're kind of cute, to tell you the truth. <laughs> I've eaten squirrels. I've eaten a bunch of squirrels when I was a kid. I mean, that's what we did. We ate squirrels and rabbits and whatever. <laughs>